Hello and welcome to Trace or Track Clearance Conductor Spacing and Vias for a printed circuit board. This is KiCad Tutorial 1.13a. As pointed out to you before, this um, tutorial is based on this blog KiCad Tutorial and this particular one, Tutorial 1.13, Track or trace clearance, conductor spacing, vias, and design rules. And we're going to start off by talking about track or trace clearance or con conductor spacing. Now, if you ever wondered where how the conductor spacing is established, then the first Stop I would suggest once again the IPC 2221A uh, specification, generic standard on printed circuit board design. Okay, here we are on page 43 and in particular table 6.1 with the heading electrical conductor spacing. And remember that our voltage fell between 16 and 30 volts, I think we measured it at 18 volts and as you can see here are the relevant con uh, electrical conductor spacings uh, listed for each specifically uh, each specific uh, circumstance and the most conservative one is A6 and it recommends a conductor spacing at 0 0.25 millimeters or 0 0.00984 inches and we can read over here what A6 is for A6 is for external component lead deponation uncoated sea level up to 3015 meters and that's about 10,007 feet now this uh, um, Table is also available in KiCad. You click on this icon, um, PCB calculator. Then the following window opens if you click on electrical spacing, and the table is once again repeated here. It has a, this nice feature there. You can select moles and 16 to 30 volt. A6 is 9. 0.84252 moles or you can select millimeters and there you are A6 is, uh, is given as 0 0.25 um, millimeters and A6 is here once again explained external component lead termination uncoated just as before if I don't put in the upper value though. Another place we can consult is our old friend this tool by Saturn PCP Design Incorporated and if you click on the conductor spacing tab and you select 16 to 30 volts and you select the A6 assembly then it gives the minimum conductor spacing as 9.84 moles which is exactly the same as before so we can accept that you know uh, everybody agrees that the conductor spacing if the voltage is between 16 and 30 volts for a A6 assembly an A6 assembly is once again explained here external component lead termination uncoated that the spacing should be 9.84 moles. Okay, so we finally concluded that the minimum conductor spacing that should be used is 0 0.25 millimeters or 9.84 moles or, or 10 moles. Now, if we look at the minimum requirements, of the manufacturers and we first look at Ospark we go to Oscar fabrication services by clicking here 
And here we are at the Os on the Ospark uh, uh, website at the fabrication services. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now for two layer boards, the minimum design rules are they require a trace clearance of 6 mils or 0 0.1524 millimeters, which is which is fine, as we, we uh, our minimum is 10 mils or 0 0.25 millimeters. Now let's look at another manufacturer. We look at Isler. We go to the Isler website. Once again. I'll leave a description in the links below to the Eisler website and if we look at their design rules and they've got a little Eisler they've got a little diagram here which I think is quite a good idea and then they define the trace spacing as D and then we look if we look at D the minimum spacing trace to trace they require a hundred micro millimeters which is well within our requirement we decided we want a minimum of 0 0,25 or 250 micro millimeters or 10 mils so Eisler will also be a, be a suitable manufacturer Okay, so we're going to use this as far for the VR properties. We're also going to use the Saturn PCB design toolkit. And we're going to, we'll have to do this iteratively. Uh, but I just want to say something about the VR height. I used 32 mils. And the reason for that is if the two layer, two ounce, 0 0.8 service of the Ospark. Uh, PCB if one looks at the board thickness the material specs the board thickness is specified as 32 mils or 0 0.8 millimeters that's why I use the, the, the 32 mils there and the, as far as the plating thickness is if you look at the copper specification, it says the VR plating thickness is one millimeter or 0 0.025 millimeters. So, if you, and we use a temperature rise of 10 degrees, an ambient te temperature of 22 degrees. We use two layers, and there's uh, imperial. We use imperial uh, units, and we calculate. 15 mils and we get 1.8628 amps. So let's try this for 18 mils and we calculate again and we see we in this case we get 2.11 amps which is more than enough that we are going to design for. So our VR diameter will be 18 mils. I think this is enough for now. Next time we will look at setting up the design rules. I do provide links in the description below. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments below. Please click on the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and goodbye.